Welcome everybody, it's Allie Rittenhouse. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how you can create custom Facebook thumbnail images for your Facebook page. You can see I have three right here. We have the free training for womenpreneurs, Instagram, and Connect on Pinterest. I made these all with Photoshop, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how using this free tool, you can create your own without having to have a graphics experience, a lot of graphics experience. Okay, so the tool that I'm going to show you today is the Timeline Image Tool. This is a tool that was created by Laura Roeder and another coder um, or app creator. And what it does is it allows for you to fancy up your Facebook page, and it is free. And you don't have to have graphics experience, and I think that's really, really important because a lot of entrepreneurs won't do these things because they don't know how to. So the first thing that you're going to want to do to get started once you go to Timeline Image Tool is you're going to click here to get started. This is going to have you link up to your Facebook page. Or your Facebook account and you're going to click allow now if you want to you can get her Facebook marketing cheat sheets or otherwise you can click no cheat sheets click here to skip and then you want to find the page that you want to add this application to so I'm going to click on Allie Rittenhouse So once your page loads, what you want to do is you want to click on the icon that you want to change. So I'm going to change this one right here, the Geek Out, so I've clicked on it. And then what I can do is I can come up to this toolbar up here. And I can either choose from the colors that they have selected, or I can choose from the images that they have here. So if you were using an email marketing list and that's what the next step was, you could put that image there. If you wanted to do a call out, you could put that image there. So we'll go ahead and select the envelope image um, because it would go to a sign up form. And then what you can do is you can add text. So what you want to do is you want to type in your text. And you can see as you type, it puts it into the image. You can then change the size and the different type of font that you are using just by clicking. We'll go back with this one. So once you have that decided on, then you can go ahead and click OK. And you can see I have created an image. No, it doesn't look like this, but if you don't know how to create graphics, this is an easy way for you to create these thumbnail images um, for free. And you can select different background colors and you can add in your text and change it from black to white. and so on. And then once you are done, um, here we're going to delete this one because it's still pulling the join list from the one before. Um, once you have it done, what you can do is make it live and it is uploading to Facebook. Once it's done and uploaded to Facebook, then we can refresh the page and our list is updated. Um, so it's a quick and easy way for you to be able to update these thumbnail images if you don't have graphics experience. Now if you already do have graphics experience and you want to be able to create your own thumbnails, they are a size of 111 by 74 pixels is the size that you need to have to be able to create this custom image. Now if you do have your designer or you do it yourself, edit and create your own thumbnails and you want to be able to upload them to your Facebook page. You can do so by extending down this arrow over here that brings down the rest of the apps, hovering over the image that you want to update, 
clicking on the edit icon when it appears. You can see it happens when, as you hover over. So we're gonna click on that, and then you're gonna scroll down to edit settings, and you can see here it says change tab image. If you click change here, it takes you to edit this image, and you can upload your own image from your computer. It tells you again that it needs to be 111 by 74. And once you update that image, it will save it automatically for you, and that is how you can update your custom image if you already have one created for you. You can also update the custom tab name if you want it to be something fun. I have Instagramming with Allie, and you can name it whatever you want. Um, we also have Pinteresting, but you can see that you are limited to the letters that will show up underneath that icon. This has been Allie Rittenhouse. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to find out how to create your own custom Facebook tab images, I highly recommend that you sign up for the Geek Labs for Preneurs. We are talking about it this month and how you can create it with this new... I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Allie Rittenhouse. If you want to find out how to create your own custom Facebook thumbnail images, check out the Geek Labs for Preneurs, where you will find a new training tutorial in there on creating your own custom Facebook images. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial.